Okay, so today's training video, we're going to be discussing uh, Weebly, Website Builder, and uh, Craigslist. Basically, the two tools that we're going to immediately use once we get a uh, bid accepted. In this particular uh, bid, we're going to be uh, reviewing Equity Central, uh, Manny Munalex. Uh This is his, his property that he just picked up. So I'm going to show Manny what to do uh, based on this example. So we'll go to Weebly. You know, you want to have a website because a website, um, it's pretty cheap to have. I think it's like 40 bucks a year or something. And um, what it does is just it enables you to give the cash buyer that you're talking to um, information quickly, uh, professionally, and without having to repeat yourself over and over. And it's just a good visual tool uh, to use and to build credibility with the people you're doing business with. Okay. So, sorry about the lame internet speed here. I'll click here, edit website. Okay, so this is one of the properties that another student of mine, uh, Todd Forbes, TJ, he has this house under contract right now. Um, so, and then if we talk to a cash buyer, they'll go ahead and come to this website and they'll see um, address, basic details. This is the investor's uh, analysis, their deal analysis, basically, of uh, what, how much money they're going to make, how much money they have to spend, their cost to resell. So, okay, so we're just going to move on and I'm going to show you how to do this. So first thing we need is a title bar. Drag that, go down. And it shows you that blue line of where the placement would be. So title bar would be right there, right in between there. And I'm just going to copy paste this information down here, but then I'll change it to the particular subject property info. Okay, copy paste, come in here, boom, and we are going to twenty eight five. All right, the next thing I need is a big image followed by a gallery. Big image right up underneath. Okay. We're going to have a gallery there. We can have a map next to the gallery. Okay. We go ahead and set the map by putting in the address. And the map will display the property. And you can zoom in and a little out so people have an idea where this is at. Okay. I forgot to add a map on this one. I'll quickly add a map here. Okay, copy paste.
And this is good because most of the time buyers will call you and you can know right off the gate, hey, it's around uh, Carver City Lincoln Gardens or whatever this university might be. You kind of just get an idea where your property is. So when you're talking to someone, you know, you're you're adequately telling them, yeah, it's around this area. And they're, they're local, so they should know where that area is. Okay. And we are going to go to the images now. Yo, bro, you got a brush? Uh, no. You mean a, a paintbrush? Yeah. No. Yeah. Anything to paint. Uh, check my toolbox. Where's the toolbox? In the truck. The bed truck. Truck bed. Save the picture in the file. Okay, on to the next picture. We need one main picture for the for the big image. Call me, bro. No. One of them said they can't come down here because you said you want me to roll the backward or some shit. No, I'm doing a training video. Here we go with the slow ass internet speed, man. Forgive me, all you uh, viewers out there. I'm trying to make it happen. Not trying, making it happen. The way you save images is um, you normally right click on a mouse, save image as, pick the folder where you want to save it. On a MacBook, you just uh, use two fingers and click down. If you only use one finger, then you're only going to do an action click. See, if you use two fingers, then you'll actually do a select option click. You notice these pictures are from 2015. So what we'll probably do on Friday is we're gonna go out there when we go put out bandit signs. Um, these are these uh, yellow signs. These are these yellow signs. Great house to flip. Uh, the zip code. This is on a different property. Bed and bath after a pair value and all that. Okay, and if you ever need signs and you're out of state, 
No worries, $65 shipping and handling, and you can get these bad boy signs for the same price I get them for. Just $65 shipping and handling, and we'll get them on over to you. Uh, some states, it's hard to get these signs. Those signs have sold tons of our properties. Okay, so I already have that picture shaved. Okay, so I got all the pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and start uploading all of them. Pretty fast um, to get a hang of using Weebly.com. Uh, one of the reasons I love it is just the mobility of it, how I can structure everything, and it just uh, maybe there are other website providers out there, but I mean I really like Weebly so far. It's it's done me a lot of justice. I can uh, put you know links here for people to connect to me on social media links. I don't freaking love technology. All the pictures are uploaded. You may want to publish as you go along, because sometimes the uh, experience is interruptions with internet connection, and you don't want to lose track of what you've already had progress with. It's happened to me, so take the advice. <laughs> Okay. Remember, this is Deborah's uh, company info, ABC Signs, on 54 North Tampa Avenue in Orlando, Florida. Uh, these yellow and black signs are really eye-popping. I put them out on corners. Maybe you've seen one of my videos on YouTube where I go, I put them out, um, have a blast with them. Uh, you know, you know, you try to make this business fun. It is fun. Cash out big checks. It's always fun. So, <laughs> all right. The offer in here.
Okay, we're also going to go over how to put this Craigslist ad up. So what we want to do is locate what is the nearest Craigslist to the city of the subject property. And that's how I normally do it. I just put the city, state, Craigslist, and here it's telling me Gainesville. So, bingo, Gainesville it is. That's where I'm going to be posting my ads. Uh, I'll go into my account, log in, Gainesville, Florida. Gainesville. Housing offered. Real estate by owner. Although we are not the owner, we do have this property under contract. So somebody calls you off Craigslist and says, hi, are you the owner? Um, no, I'm a wholesaler, but we do have this property under contract. So what can I help you for? You know, simple as that. You know, you don't want to portray something you're not. Uh, you just want to explain it professionally. And um, and quickly, you know, I'm a real estate wholesaler. I have this property under contract. Um, and yeah, so I'm not the owner of it, but I, I am who you have to go through for right now to get this property because we have it under contract for a little bit less than what we're selling it to you for. So that way you're taking care of a couple of things. You know, they know up front that you're going to make money on this deal. And they know up front that you got it for a little less than what they're going to buy it from you for. You know, so it's total disclosure 100% of the time. This posting title would be... Um, Three bed, three bath. Okay, so I'm going to discuss a couple of rules about Craigslist. Number one, you never put the full property address. Never. We'll put that up top. Okay. Then what we want to do there, the description. Basically, the information we're about to have there. So let's go ahead and lay it out here on the website. You want any text box? Lay it there. Copy paste from usually the property right above. Center it out. Okay, and let's change the address. Shit. Okay. Hello, 
இருக்கு Okay, 1972. I know this information because I'm looking here on the Zillow at. Okay. And do this ARB. To watch a detailed video on reviewing this deal on the after repair value, you can watch one of my other videos, but I'm just going to quickly review the comps on Zillow. In order to do that, you copy paste the address right there, put it in that box right there. This should pop up, close that out, and it'll show you where that house is right here on the map. Zillow is connected to the county data. I don't trust these estimates, but I do trust the yellow dots that pop up. You see all those yellow dots sold in the last 90 days? There we go, we got some transactions. So this was a really small house that sold for twenty eight thousand. So these these two houses are gonna be this one and this one are gonna be my comp properties to justify why I'm selling for my price cash. Okay. And Right away, I see comps in the 50s and 60s. See 54, 59, 57. Four bed, two bath, 1,500 square feet. You know. $41 a square foot. 41 times this equals that. See the square footage of the house. It's 41, 30, 20, 55, $82. That's off the lake at $34. So $55 a square foot is definitely one of the high comps. So we go off of that. Makes this house worth a hundred and five thousand. Since that that is um, one of the smaller properties, see a thousand fifty six. Ours is a lot larger. What I'll do is I'll go probably with this comp right here, the forty one dollars a square foot. Oh, okay. See, because there's three. There's three, so there's 55, 41, and 30. I'll probably just get an average of all three. It's the safest way to play it. Especially on an area that has a lot of cheap houses. 26 divided by three comps, $42 a square foot. So that's why I was going to go with this one, you see? 
because it is like the medium number, the average. It gives us a after repair value of 80,000 miles. $41.32 Somebody goes to resell this, they'll incur a 6% cost to resell, selling with an agent, or if they sell cash, they'll have more profits. This is a really good rental property though. So I predict the buyer will like the fact that they have equity, but they'll keep it as a rental. I think 15000 should be good to put in that house as a rental. Maybe even 10000 to be honest. Because uh, the floors all look pretty good and whatnot. Rentals, they don't do a lot. They just get them ready painted and moving ready so here we'll just put uh equity i'm going to remove the cost to sell because most of the time properties uh eighty thousand or below they sell cash and you put them back on the market so i'm just gonna So I'll start the top 80 minus 10 for renovations, 70 minus we're asking 28.5. That <coughs> leaves them 41,000. Forty one thousand five hundred. We haven't taken the closing costs yet. A cheap house like this closing cost will it's a double closing it's typically gonna be about four and a half percent to five percent of the purchase price I'm gonna say fifteen hundred bucks I'm just going to say 2000 could be less change my price to 29 I think I'm going to leave that cost to sell just in case somebody does want to flip it. At least they can see their true profits.
So every time you change one number, another number changes. At the end of the day, the number that it's affected is the equity, what the, what the investor is going to make. Okay? So this description, same thing I'm going to put on the Craigslist hat, except the, the cap rate, I have to change that. The cap simply means 29000 which is what they're going to purchase, plus... 2000 in closing costs plus 10000 in renovations they have a $41,000 total project that they're going to money that's going to cost them to basically do this project 41 grand so they're going to tie up 41 grand for a $34,000 profit so 34,000 divided by 41,000 equals 82% cap rate that's fucking awesome this deal is a great deal That's the freaking clip rate, the, the, the flip cap rate. Now we're going to add the rental evaluation. See what <coughs> this house will rent for, and the way you check that, Take the same map right here. Click on this four right. Six hundred by two two. Seven fifty four three two. They're not even houses. I think this will easily run out for nine hundred bucks a month. Property manager would be ninety dollars. That's ten percent of the rent. The insurance will probably be um, <coughs> sixty-five dollars a month.
taxes. Oh shit. Fifteen hundred dollars a year. Fifteen, th yeah, fifteen, fifteen hundred a year. Divided by twelve, one twenty-five. Now it'll probably be like seven dollars. And the property manager will be like ninety dollars. <coughs> Investors like to see you run numbers like this because then they know what to expect realistically. Six fifteen a month. I got my 12 to get the yearly, yearly net, okay. You need to take, remember their total amount for the project that they need, the 41000 The closing cost, the purchase price, and the renovations, okay. Take the 7380 uh, Divide that by the big number. <coughs> they got an eighteen percent monthly cap rate on this rental. That's fucking amazing. It's a great number. Put this on the credit side. Okay. We just put this an open house like a week and a half just because it might generate more attention on crisis.
And what you want to do is post three ads a day and change the title. You want to make sure the title is different. Kind of, you know, put one thing on top of the other. So the rental evaluation might go on top of the flip evaluation next time. You know, just kind of just your content information might be at the top next time. You know, just kind of switch it up so you don't get flagged or whatnot. Okay, continue. Continue. Images. Still a couple images up there. Only thing I'm missing here is um, the comps. I'm gonna do exactly what I did here. Bingo. You should start getting calls same day you put it up.